hi welcome to my my channel and this is malwadi johannes today i would like to do a reaction series which is bow and reaction series um subscribe like and comment so that we keep on producing um geologic videos so today we will we'll be talking about Bowen reaction series. Bowen reaction series, it is divided into the discontinuous branch and continuous branch. This series was discovered or was um, produced by the, the geologist the Canadian geologist um, Bowen. So he he demonstra he demonstrated that as magma cools mineral form in predictable patterns. So the Bowen reaction series it it illustrates the relationship between the cooling magma and the minerals that form. We will we will talk more about that sooner. So, like I said, we have two patterns, which obviously were discovered um, by Bowen, which are the continuous pattern and discontinuous um, pattern or the series. So, a continuous series with a gradual changes of um, mineral composition in the feldspar group. That is to say, in continuous series, we'll be talking more about the the plagioclase, the plagioclase um, feldspar, and then in discontinuous, this is the series which is characterized by an abrupt change of mineral types in the iron magnesium group. So. This series. Like I said, you can see that it is divided into discontinuous and the continuous series. And um, in continuous series, we have plagioclase. It's, it's, it's a series of plagioclase ranging from calcium rich here at the top at the high temperature and um, sodium rich at the, as, as the temperature decreases. So this region, it's a region of plagioclase. This region is a region of plagioclase. Now, the implication of the continuous series, it tells you that, remember, I, I, I told you that we have the gradual changes of the mineral composition in the feldspar group, the gradual changes. The gradual changes that we're talking about is, is, is the fact that when we're having a mafic magma that is rich in calcium plagioclase um or or rather let's have a mafic magma when 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 the magma start to cool the first um, minerals to form are the calcium rich plagioclase and then as the temperature decreases as the temperature decreases somewhere here we would have the composition that is intermediate, obviously between the calcium rich and the sodium rich, we will have something intermediate. And as the temperature drops even further, then you find that the calcium now um, has reacted with the the melt to form sodium rich minerals. Um, that is the continuous series. And in the discontinuous series, or, or, or to talk more about the continuous series, we can say in the discontinuous, in the continuous reaction series, this is the series which composed of the plagioclase feldspar solid solution series. Okay, so a basaltic magma would initially crystallize calcium rich plagioclase. And obviously, upon cooling of that melt or that magma, 
continually it will react with the, meaning the plagiotase continually with the undercooling it will react with the liquid to produce more sodium rich plagiotase so if the early forming plagiotase were removed in this case we start to talk of the um sorry fractional crystallization um, fractional crystallization crystallization why why the crystal fractionization because now the crystals that the early crystals which were rich in calcium they if they happened to be removed from from the the system then the liquid composition could eventually evolve to those that will crystallize a sodium rich plagioclase such as um a rhyolite liquid so bowen reaction series it is further described in in terms of the fractional crystallization that is to say if the early forming particles or minerals were were to be removed from the system that is to say um for instance the calcium rich plagioclase the first minerals which they were crystallized if they get to be removed it simply means they are not uh, they they are denied to 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 react with the meld to form sodium rich plagioclase they are they are removed in that case the 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 liquid will ev the liquid composition will evolve and then later on it can form a rhyolite liquid because it has been evolved that is the the discontinuous series but there is um detailed explanation of uh, the magmatic processes such as a crust, um, fractional crystallization it should be discussed in greater in greater details so um in my other video you will see what i'm talking about when we say the fractional crystallization so now when we get to the discontinuous reaction series so this consists of minerals that upon cooling these minerals upon cooling they eventually react with the liquid to produce a new phase okay then one would ask how is that the case so for instance if we have a basaltic liquid upon cooling olivine would be the first mineral to 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 crystallize or to form and then upon further cooling this olivine this olivine it will react with the the liquid to form the pyroxene obviously the pyroxene again upon cooling it will react with the liquid to start to introduce the hydrous mineral amphibole and then within or uh, with further cooling we start to to produce a sheet mineral called the biotite so again this discontinuous series it is described in in a special manner wherein the structures the structures are different the structures we're talking about the biotite it has sheeted structure the biotite um we having old people are boring so this would have sheet structure and then this the the amphibole we know they will have double bonds and then um pyroxene will have single bond up until um olivine where the structures 
get to be isolated. So you can tell that within the discontinuous series, within the discontinuous series, the, the structures are changing from where from from isolated at the top up until we have now the sheets. But if we were to compare the structures in a disco in, in a continuous series, we would tell that okay, um, the continuous series, the structures are the same, meaning they all plagioclase. They are from the plagioclase family, but within uh, the discontinuous series, the structures are 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 ranging from isolated up until we get to sheeted. Now, if we were again to talk about the fractional crystallization, the olivine after its formation, it would it would be removed from the system. That it is to say, it will not be given allowance to react with the remaining liquid to form obviously pyroxenes and pyroxene will not be given chance to form amphibole and stuff so the 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 magma the magmatic composition will evolve now if we happen to experience fractional crystallization we would form or from mythic magma we can have um or we can finally produce the magma that, that is rich in um, SiO2 because the magma has evolved. Like I said, if you want to understand the magmatic evolution in terms of the crystal, um, the, the fractional crystallization, I would, um, in my, my other videos, you will see how this magma evolved. So now if you understand how these um, magmas, they, they, they get to be evolved, um, you'd, you'd agree, you'd agree that um, from this, like it is displayed on the screen, it is felsic. It's all my quads, all my quads. To show that O is orthoclase and then M muscovite and Q quartz. So that's how I used to 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 keep this in my mind, O my quartz, so that I I don't forget how these things um it get to to be de depicted. So um and then you 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 see that from um sodium and um have halfway here you start to have the intermediates and everything above that we start to have the mafic um composition so other one thing that you should understand about this power interaction series is that we have higher temperatures from olivine and going towards the more um the more silicon oxide we start to have low temperatures and this as well, these ranging temperatures, they would tell you that they will tell you that um, the way in which the magma will will erupt, it will depend as well on the the temperatures and obviously on some of the other factors like the volatiles and the 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 even the viscosity and stuff so as well that is um the topic in itself that should be discussed in greater details um like i said that the olivine is the first first mineral to crystallize from the very high temperatures as magma start to cool so quartz it will be the last mineral to form from the last remaining melt of high silica content like i've i've shown so this power in the reaction series it indicates that the minerals with the highest melting temperatures they crystallize from a cooling magma before those with their lower melting points so power in the reaction series does not explain the origin of magma 
I will tell you about that. So, and again, the Bowen reaction series, it indicates the ferromagnesium minerals in magma crystallizes in the sequence shown in the discontinuous branch, like the way I've shown you that if we have ferromagnesium minerals or, or, or mafic magma, that is to say it has more of iron and um more of iron and magnesium so those minerals they will form a sequence that is displayed obviously on the discontinuous in the discontinuous series so the reason being we saying the power and reaction series that does not explain the origin of magma because um magma it is formed by different different processes it forms the, by partial melting and all other related um, processes. But this reaction series, it doesn't explain how those, how the magma, how we get to have the mafic magma. So Bowen just assumed that we have a mafic magma. And then, but um, he excluded the fact that how that mafic magma might have um, came from so um, if you got it you'd comment and if you still need a clarity you can comment below and then um, yeah I think we are done thank you guys